edition of Hummingbot Live, um, our weekly live stream for um, the community. Uh, my name is Mike. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Hummingbot, uh, the open source project that helps market makers and algo traders build basically anything they want uh, in crypto. So traditionally, Hummingbot has been used to build arbitrage bots, um, you know, market making bots. And, and now I think uh, with all the Solana DEXs, uh, you know, I'm really excited to start delving into like automating LP uh, functionality, like adding, removing liquidity uh, from concentrated liquidity and automatic market maker pools. So the current ones we support are uh, Jupiter, uh, Radium, Meteora, and, and Uniswap. So basically the, the idea of this is to allow people to automatically interact with these pools. We have some basic scripts, probably the, the one that I would use is probably this one, the, the, the COM managed position one. This one is currently directly using these methods uh, via the HTTP client. So let's go ahead and test out this script and try to create a simple script that basically automatically creates a position on radium when the price reaches a certain level, monitors it, and then closes it if that position goes out of range. Let's first pick the pool, use the sole USC pool for now. So first thing I'll do, I'm going to run gateway in this mode here, create the script config for it. Pick the connector. Let's get the pool address here as well. We're doing this pool. Target price, 150. But we'll open it if the price rises above 150. Position width, 10%. I'll probably just do like you know, 0.05 for the quote, do like 10. What we also wanna do is monitor this position. Is it position active or not? Is a price within this threshold? If it is, I'll be earning the swap fees. If the price moves outside the range, then I'm not earning any swap fees. So I probably want to remove that liquidity. Yeah, we'll just say uh, if the position moves outside the price by 1%, we'll close it. The price has to be outside the range for at least uh, one minute, one minute or 60 seconds before we actually close it. Save that as a configuration. So let's go ahead and start the script. So if I do the status like this, we currently uh, are in the position it's currently in range. Let's go ahead and kind of change the settings a little bit. I'll stop this. We'll do a much smaller position. Let's do 0.1% width. And if it moves out, we'll, we'll set that immediately. So current price is 159.3. I, I do want to create the position. So let's set it to 151.2. So now we're kind of really testing the, the boundaries. Uh, before it was a 10% position. Obviously, you know, th that worked. So now we're creating a 0.1% position width. Okay, that position was created. That was our first position. And here's our second one that was created. We've confirmed that Hummingbot was able to automatically create a very narrow position in Radium automatically. Let's actually make sure this works. Um, I, I do want to make sure that, you know, we can automatically close positions as well. So the, the script actually does have an issue because currently the price is out of range, but uh, here it still says it is within range. So that's why actually, let, let's stop this. So let's go ahead and actually try to fix this. Let's see if Claw can help us fix. Help me fix. Let's go with that. It looks like it thinks that it worked. And so let's go ahead and test it out. First, we will close that other position we had and start it again. 0.5. We want to adjust this buffer to zero. And we want to adjust this out of range seconds to like five. Let's go with 10 seconds. Okay. All right, let's close this position here. Okay, pool is created. We're monitoring the price. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's let's uh, let's see if it's uh it will remove it. So we're closing the position soon. Is it closing the position? Closing position. Oh, it closed the position. Yes, I'm always happy when the bot you know actually works. But now that we have this basic building block, I think it's more you know it's more interesting what kind of strategies you can actually build with it. So the the, the first one I want to try to build is something I call a limit range order. And the overall idea is that if you have tokens that you may want to hold or like like this, sometimes like, you know, you want to you want to buy or sell tokens using range like this. But there might be like situations where let's say you want to buy if the price goes down, but if the price moves up again, you don't you don't want to sell sell it, but you, you kind of want to rebalance the range and then, you know, kind of like close out the per the amount you've purchased. I call it a limit range order because essentially it's a, it's a range that as the price moves into it at different levels, it would close and then reopen and get narrower every time. Actually, let's do a good 
try to at least have Claude, you know, simulate and, and, and see what it can do. Create a script based on, let's see, these levels. One design point is, there's actually another way you can do this where instead of setting one large position and then kind of rebalancing and like making a narrow, kind of like, a, like an accordion, you could also basically define your rebalancing points ahead of time and say, let me create four positions. And then once each one moves out of range, I'm gonna close out and so forth. I would actually recommend this approach to be honest, because I think the cost of opening and closing a position isn't that high, but the cost of like actually creating a position uh, might be more expensive. But uh, yeah, I think there's different ways to approach this problem. Okay, analyzing the requirements, reading stuff. It's not using many tokens, which is kind of strange, but. All right, so it created the, the limit order strategy already. Let's see, remove initial price, change close levels to percent, the quote or base asset. Okay, be 8%. All right, so now I think it's time we can test this out. So we have our new limit range order. So we will use radium CLM. Let's try this radium soul pool. All right, so let's start that. Yep, okay. All right, so let's try that. Let's actually try to do this manually, actually. It could also be the price. Well, oh, that's why, okay. Got it, oh, I see. The price has to be higher. Okay, all right. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, use this new version they have. Vibe code it entirely. So that's why I, I, I'm actually not super happy with this, this script. Uh, I don't think it's a very good one, but the basic idea is that it should be able to uh, set a single-sided range, either buy or sell um, for any pool. All right, so, so now it's working. I think clearly this limit range order script uh, needs a bit more work in order to make it really be something you would want to use. The good news is we were able to customize something <laughs> using uh, the gateway. A lot of the complication for this stuff, it really is like making sure you're buying instead of selling, you're buying the right asset, you're not selling it, getting the right prices, you know, not inverted. I would actually recommend before you try to automate something using gateway, I would just do it manually first, you know, kind of just set positions manually, make sure you know exactly what you want. And then once you can have a repeatable pattern, you should be able to automate that um, using using gateway. Yeah, I think you can see how coding actually works uh, you know, for bots is really just a lot of trial and error and making sure that the simple stuff works before you move on to something more complex. I think you can already use uh, gateway in terms of just hitting these, these endpoints either by themselves or automating scripts uh, with them using Hummingbot. Thanks everyone, I'll see you next time.